welcome back so i have a few birds here around seven or eight i do not know i didn't count it so let's just uh, forget about these birds and focus at the next lo which is the lo tree rationalizing the denominator so rationalizing the denominator seems very familiar di subtopic yang sebelumnya iaitu 1.2 Sebelum ni, you rationalize the denominator untuk menghilangkan I. Menghilangkan complex number di bahagian pembawah. But now, you are trying to kill. Bukan I. But you are trying to kill. Third. You are trying to kill third at the at denominator. That is your goal. Your goal is to kill the third at denominator. Okay? Tolong ingat yang ini. Buat matahari ni. Because it's important. How do we kill the thirds? There are two ways. One is by its conjugate by itself. Itself means like this kind. You akan nampak, oh, satu je third dekat bawah. Satu je. Tak ada apa-apa kiri kanan-kanan. Hanya dirinya sendiri. So, we call it rationalize. We call it rationalize by... No, no, no. Not rationalize by. Rationalize it dengan conjugate by itself. This is how you would do. You want to conjugate dengan dirinya sendiri. Ia akan menjadi 5 bahagi square root 3. Tolonglah salin balik. Darabkan dengan square root as again, tengok eh, cara saya tulis tu macam mana. Saya tulis palang dulu. Sama je cara dia. Konsep yang sama kan? Rationalize. Palang dulu. And then bawah, you start dari bawah. Square root of 3. You salin balik. As I said, by itself. By itself means totally dirinya sendiri. Square root of 3. And above part, you copy back. You copy ya. Eh? Atas copy. Copy back. And then you times it together, you will get 5 square root of 3 divided by 3. Sebab square root 3 darab square root 3 adalah 3. Now, move on to the next question. Move on to the next question. Oops. Kehilangan saya punya ni. Okay, now. 3 bahagi 2. Jangan takut anak-anak, adik-adik. Adik-adik jangan takut. So, 3 bahagi 2 square root of 3 boleh didarabkan dengan uh, apa? Boleh didarabkan dengan dirinya sendiri. Kenapa kita nak darabkan dengan dirinya sendiri? Apa logiknya? Guys, do you remember square root of A times square root of A is A. Means here got no more third. When there is no more third, means you have killed the third. You have killed the third by times it by itself. By timing, timing lah. By times it by dirinya sendiri. You multiplykan dengan dirinya sendiri. Hilanglah third tersebut. Itulah purpose you buat. Rationalize. So atas masih sama sebab you copy it back. And you simplify it, you will get... Ini. But be careful, 3 bahagi 3 hilang And therefore the answer is just square root of 3 divided by 2 Minta hmm. maaf ya, terlebih ruang di situ, tak cukup ruang So now the next part, kita dah habis dah belajar uh, mengenai conjugate by itself But this time, it's not about conjugate by itself but you are doing a rationalize with conjugate conjugate by changing kena tulis kot ni by changing the middle sign middle sign mean literally the middle part which is here saya so, kata highlight kan dia menggunakan warna kuning Changing the middle sign, meaning 
Salin balik soalan dulu. Okay, remember ya guys. Step yang pertama adalah tolonglah salin balik soalan tersebut. Sebab salin eh. Salin soalan balik. Salin balik. Tolonglah. Jangan abaikan. Salin balik. Now baru you darabkan dengan conjugate-nya. You darabkan dengan conjugate-nya iaitu change the middle sign. Change the middle sign, it will become 7 plus square root 2. And then you copy back, tulis balik ke atas, 7 plus square root 2. Allah. Kenapa square root 2? Garisan saya ni ke atas. Ha, okay. So, bila you dah salin, salin soalan and then you rationalize it, now you can solve it happily, you will get 7 plus square root 2 divided by, dari sini, you patutnya dah lebih uh, laju. By this time, by this time, you should have know how to solve this already. Okay, you tengah nak cuba mendarapkan mereka, betul tak? Oh my god, what am I doing here? <laughs> Dia jadi macam parallelogram dah. What I want to show you right now here 7 minus square root 3 times 7 plus square root 3. Square root 2. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, satu positif, satu negatif. Didarapkan bersama. Dia akan memberi kamu 49 minus 2 only. That is how fast you are right now. You should be fast at the point of this video. Okay, so here only gonna give you 7 plus square root of 2 divided by... 47. Tada! Well done. You have done the third question. Okay? Please, yeah, guys, if you still have a problem with how do I get this thing, please check my previous video. Okay? Repeat it again and again. Inshallah, you will be fine. Okay? And the last question from me is this one. Dekat sini, you akan sedar. Oh, Miss, dua-dua pun ada square root. Sebelum ni, atas ni, Miss hanya bagi satu je square root, Miss. Bawah ni ada dua square root, kiri dan kanan. A and B here, right? But, jangan takut. Tulis dulu soalan, salin balik soalan. Salin balik soalan, as I said, copy back the question. Don't be lazy. And here, I want to times it with its, its conjugate. Conjugate. Saya perlu darabkan dengan conjugate-nya. Conjugate-nya juga adalah middle sign. Okay. As again, rationalize it by conjugating. Conjugate. Conjugate by changing the middle sign. This is what I meant. Middle sign, change it. Negative jadi positive. And then atas copy back. And then this is your first term. Term yang kedua kekal lah. Tak ada siapa kacau-kacau dia. Tak perlu apa-apa pun nak berubah kat situ. Leave it there. Okay. So now what we should do is times it. Times it. Saya akan buat yang atas dulu lah ya. We will get 3 plus 2 square root 6 plus 2. Yang bawah ni kita akan dapat 3 minus 2. Wow, miss. So fast. How you do it? Ya, yeah, you dah berlama-lama buat banyak latihan. You akan rasa benda ni kacang sahaja. Okay, and divided by 1. Sama sahaja. You tak you tak nak tulis pun tak apa. Tak perlu tulis divided by 1 because they are just the same. And then plus it with square root of 2. And then you done. Easy as ABC. Yang penting you jangan lupa untuk rationalize it please rationalize it means you untuk set untuk set ya bukan complex number untuk set change the middle sign tak kisahlah ada set dekat depan ke dekat belakang ke ada dua-dua ke it is just always in the middle okay in the middle right now saya buat conclusion a bit to show you that this is to conjugate by itself. To conjugate by itself mean dirinya sendiri. Square root 3 lah. Oleh itu, kamu akan berjumpa dengan square root 3 darab. Square root 3, you akan nampak, you akan bertemu 3. 
Ada tak lagi cert? Tidak. You are now free. Free from certs. And you are happy. And therefore you are happy. <laughs> I do not know the song. Apa ikan saya? So now, here is where you ada soalan di mana square root yang di depan. Okay, square root di depan, jangan takut. Okay, square root di depan, just make sure you just change the middle sign. It gonna give you square root 3 minus... 1 Okay And then You cuba darabkan Cuba fikir You darabkan Oops Not plus anymore Minus lah You darabkan As I say 1 plus 1 minus You darabkan together Both factor You darabkan together You will only get guys You akan dapat 3 tolak 1 Secepat itu 3 tolak 1 Wow, very fast Sebab you tahu tengah-tengah Akan hilang, akan vanished Okay, bahagian yang di tengah-tengah Ini maksud saya, tengah-tengah di antaranya Saya tak nak buat lagi, okay I have done it so many times My point right now is to show you Whether square root ni di depan Okay, whether square root di depan Term, ataupun di belakang term It doesn't matter The conjugate will just the same you change the middle you only change the middle sign that's it change the middle sign don't ask too much just follow it okay of course they do have the reason reasonnya hanyalah untuk menghilangkan cert itu je reason dia tak ada pun apa apa reason yang pelik-pelik so you will get here 25 minus 2 can they give you 23 okay kita buat begini kita menukarkan sign di tengah-tengahnya okay kenapa kita nak menukar kenapa kita conjugate berdasarkan middle sign it is just because to make sure that no more cert is there we are free from cert totally free okay and the last part here from me, tak kisahlah you ada dua cert di depan, uh, ada cert di depan ataupun cert di belakang. It doesn't matter, man. You just change it. Square root 5 plus square root 3. Okay, what do you change? You change the sign only, guys. You change this plus only. Okay, square root 5 masih sama. Square root 3 masih sama. Tak ada apa-apa pun yang... Susah di situ. So, again, I'm trying to show you all over again and again. Okay, banyak kali juga saya repeat di sini. Okay. So, you write it down. You, 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 you times it together. And you will be very surprised to see that you will get 25. Minus 3. Minus 3, which is 22. Tak tanda nak buat hashtag tu. Tak perlu pun. My concern right now is just to let you know that you mesti darakkan dua faktor yang berbeza sign. Satu plus, satu minus. Because when you times it together, when you times this formula, okay, saya repeat di sini lah. When you times different sign, bila kamu darak sign yang, yang sign yang berbeza, satu plus, satu tolak, you memang exactly akan hanya dapat A tolak B. Miss, mana pergi tengah-tengahnya? Tengah-tengahnya sebenarnya dari sini. Square root of AB tambah square root of AB. The thing is, this middle one, this middle lady here has been vanished because they are just equal to zero. Sebab, tu, sebab itulah tinggal A minus B sahaja. Is it clear? Because of this particular formula yang membuatkan kita dah tak ada cert, tinggallah A minus B semata-mata.